Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast and a game between Evil Genius's Machine versus I Am Nestes here on Shakura's Plateau. Machine spawning as the Red Zerg on the bottom right hand side of the map. Meanwhile, I Am Nestes spawning as the Blue Zerg on the top left hand side of the map. And I am in fact not Nesty. Um, it is I Am Nesty, but I can understand the confusion. But yeah. Don't shake my hand and say no. Okay, bad pun. I know it's it's a Saturday morning. Just try, kind, just trying to enjoy these games alongside you and with you here. Hope you guys are having a good holiday season. Hope you guys get everything you want for Christmas. Unfortunately, there's not going to be a package of Heart of the Swarm waiting for me, unless David Kim actually watch my cast and goes, you know what? I'll let I'll let Crota into the Heart of the Swarm beta or alpha early. But then again, I wouldn't be able to cast any of the games because it would all be most likely NDA anyways. Now, Nesty as the blue Zerg on the top left-hand side versus Machine. Both players. Um, oh, Nesty, very smart. Passing with the Overlord, getting to the halfway point, and then realizing, hey, most likely he is not there. This is going to be a full cross spawn, and this is a true mirror match as even the Overlords are moving in a very, very similar direction. We now see Machine, though, getting an Extractor back inside his base and also going for a Spawning Pool. So this will be an Extractor Pool opening for a faster uh, for a, for a faster map control, faster Zergling build. Meanwhile, Nest he, no Spawning Pool, no Extractor. Instead, has a Hatchery at his Natural Expansion, meaning that he is going for a Fast Hatch obviously, and then going to be building a spawning pool. He may or may not go for gas early on. If he does go for gas early on, he is going to be utilizing metabolic boost and hoping that um, the the queens and maybe perhaps one spine crawler will be enough to fend off against Baning and Zerglings. Um, if he doesn't go for gas, then he's really going to be really counting on just spine crawlers and queens. The problem with just spine crawlers and queens, though, is that they do tend to get surrounded. Spinecrawler is very, very powerful with that two base armor to fight back against those Zerglings, however. Now, Hatchery about 75% done. Meanwhile, the Metabolic Boost at Machine's base already started. And that is going to be, that is going to translate into a very, very strong advantage as we now see that the spawning pool is going to be completed in a little bit of time, but still going to be about another 50 seconds or 50 StarCraft 2 seconds, I guess, before Metabolic Boost can even be researched. So um, it looks like Machine's going to have a 90 second advantage with that Metabolic Boost as this game gets underway. Zergling's now running across the field looking to fight. There is no, is there a spine crawler being added? It looks like there is a spine crawler being built, but I'm not quite sure where. Come on, can I click there? Nope, I cannot click there. A spine crawler. Um, where is that spine crawler? Zergling is now going after this hatchery over here. It looks like Queens will be coming out as the Zerg Cocoon now taking a little bit of damage here. Zergling is now going to be forced to back off. There's going to be a larger number coming in from Machine though as the Queen now comes out. And that Queen adding additional defense really making a large difference there as the Spine Crawler was being built over here. And now very slowly making its way over here. So Spine Crawler now rooting itself off. And now the Zerglings are going to try to do a run by one. Two Zerglings are able to make it inside the base. They are going to be able to scout around. Perhaps fight against a drone. Take one down. No, no drones were lost at all. As Machine has a very small window of opportunity to deal a lot of damage. Hatchery about to be completed. It looks like Machine's going to have enough for an inject right at the right moment there. As both sides now get even more Harvesters. 19 to 19 now. 22 drones now coming in from Nest T. So Nest T still training up more drones as long as he doesn't over drone and doesn't and, and has enough of a um, units to really fight back. He should be fine as the Zerglings are now going to make their way inside the space. Are they going to be able to make it inside the ramp? No, that Spine Crawler and that Queen both had something else in store and now still hitting those injects pretty much on time. So Nesty doing a great job. You can see right as that larva spawns, he is over there already on top of it, able to keep track of so many things at once. Machine sitting at 36 over 36, currently supply blocked. This is bad news for him. He is currently down by 12 food, and you never want to be down by 12 food that early on as he is already losing critical mining time. 
Um, but he does have more drones at this stage. We are now going into a Roach War, and as the Zerglings look like they want to try to test the waters, one Bane thing here, another Bane thing here, and what's going to be happening? Oh, it looks like that one Bane thing was able to take down three. Not the best exchange, but still a, good, um, a decent exchange. You really want one to four, one to eight, one to ten is even better, but th you can't always get what you want. The Zerglings now chasing after those Banelings there. The Zerglings may be able to get in. Right, oh, one Baneling getting overexcited and premature detonation as the Zerglings are now once again backing off. So that Baneling, is it going to try to make its way in? Four, three Zerglings coming in. And that Baneling does exchange there. One for three. More Banelings going to be added as the Zerglings now coming in once more. And a little bit of this yin-yang battle here as the Zerglings now give chase. Realize that there's too many and now back off once again. Harvester count is 33 to 37. Nest T now taking the lead as a Baneling trying to move out, perhaps trying to find a group of very tightly packed Zerglings. The Zerglings are still running around. This Baneling doesn't have movement speed, unable to catch up to those Zerglings as they're backing off. The Zerg swarm control just so, so powerful as the Zerglings are now running all the way back home, but now going to have to fight superior numbers once more. A third base is being established by Nesti, so it's going to be three bases to two. Unless Machine is able to get up another base. Harvester count, 42 compared to 43. And Machine is going to take the Harvester crown here in just a moment. Now back up to 48 as we are now going into a Spire play. I currently do not see any tech to tier 2 from Nest T. So that means that Spire is going to pretty much go unopposed. No spoke too soon. Just starting that tech to tier 2. Um, tech to tier two as this one Zergling will get taken down by a sea of Zerglings. And there it goes. Now, a drone finally making its way around the corner. It looks like that drone will grow up to be a hatchery. But it may be a little bit late. The hatchery over here already um, pretty much completed now. As the Zerglings, the roaches now starting to make their way in. And those roaches are going to be very powerful against anything, against any of these Zerglings. We are going into a lot of spine crawlers. Creep is now being spread. And not quite sure why as the Bane thing, oh, gets detonated once more. Spine Crawler is going to engage. Zerglings need to engage here. There's a nice detonation as one spine crawler does get taken down. Four more about to, five more about to um, finish morphing into play. This hatchery over here, not even started yet, as the roaches are going to be making their way up the ramp. The spire now completed. Uh, are we going to get some mutalists? Five, seven mutalists should be a very, very large number to help as the roaches are now going to engage. There is one queen in this group. The queen joining in on the fight. Roaches having a very difficult time fighting behind this spawning pool. The perfect place for it. As drones now coming off the mineral line to try to help win this war. It looks like the roaches will get taken down finally. But after evening up the food count just a little bit. Only one worker killed though. Taking a look at the overall losses. Machines still slightly losing a little bit more resources. As mutilists are now going to hunt for overlords. Four overlords in the air here. Um, a total of... 10 now in the air as the Mutalists are going to be going after the Queen. But there are a lot of Spore Crawlers. Two at the third base. Three at the Natural Expansion. And I don't think these Mutalists are going to be able to get the true economic damage that needs to be dealt. Zerglings running back around. It looks like these Mutalists are just going to sit around and are completely um, not very useful right now. Those Mutalists are not going to be able to engage and... Essentially, what Machine could have had is a stronger economy to perhaps break open that front door. Two Mutalists going to finish off another Overlord here. It's going to get taken down. And down it goes. And just dropping all of that blood into what I guess this is some sort of lake. Spine Crawlers now making their way out. And they are going to be positioning themselves in a defensive posture. There are a couple Mutalists over here. The Mutalists now going to go after those Zerglings. The Zerglings are going to fight against a drone. One drone does get taken down. Hatchery going to get surrounded. But I believe the Zerglings will finish off all of these units here. And as the Spine Crawlers root themselves, Machine is going to be running up on three bases. 55 SC or 55 drones versus 65 drones here. Three triple spine crawlers on the front door. More Zerglings in position off over here as well. As it looks like this Overlord gets taken down. And both sides now with minimal scouting information 
but there's still one Overseer here. The Overseer does not have the Pneumatized Carapace, but he could try to do a bit of corruption to slow down any of any researches or any spawn larvas. Zergling's now looking to make their way in. Zergling's going to engage back off. There are a couple of spine crawlers. Another Overlord taken down. Two more Overlords most likely will go. And now 101 over 86 as the Mutalists are engaging here. A Baneling trying to roll on into a group. And is it going to be enough as the Banelings try to split apart? There are a couple of Roaches here. That's not going to be a good exchange. And Nesty with just so many numbers winning this war. Um, seemingly with just numbers of the same units. 87, 85 food versus 139. 65 drones versus 53. And now by this point, Nesty has a larger army and can replenish it faster. Mutilus was taken down. Also, we see another spine crawler taken down over here. Drones still trying to mine as the Mutilus back off. Level 1 flyer attack upgrade about halfway completed. Spore crawler now coming in. It looks like more and more Mutilus are being added still. Roaches are going to, and Zergi is going to finish off that spore crawler here. And with Machine down to z only two Mutilus, no, three more, four more Mutilus joining on the fight. But there is the GG, and Machine has left the game. So game one in the series going to the Korean once more. Nesty beating Machine on Shakura's Plateau. Stay tuned for game two.